We're taking a look here at AWS API. So first let's answer what an API is. So that stands for Application Programming Interface. And an API is software that allows two applications or services to talk to each other. And the most common protocol that you can use is HTTP. And so what does AWS use for their protocol? Well, they use HTTP. And so you can send HTTP uh, requests at using a program such as Postman, or, or you could use curl or wget. And the idea is that you will get back a response of information about your cloud resources. So let's go take a look at an example of a request that we would send to AWS. So here is an example. And what's really important to make note of is the service endpoint. So if you notice here, I'm just gonna get my pen tool out so we can draw a little bit here. Um, the idea is that we are using the HTTP protocol. We are sending a GET request. So we're just looking to read information. And then the idea is that every single service basically has their own service endpoint. So monitoring probably goes to CloudWatch logs. That's what I'm assuming. And it's targeting it for US East 1. So there's that. Um, the other thing is that you need to authenticate these requests or authorize them. So what you'll need to do is generate a signed request. So the idea here is you make a request with your AWS credentials and you get back a token and then you provide that token here uh, in the authorization header. The other part is that you need to supply an action and also parameters. We don't show this exactly here because there's no room for it. But the idea is that if we're going to go to monitoring, we're going to want to target something in particular, uh, say like list objects in S3, and then you might have additional information. These are very obvious when we use the CLI or the SDK, but uh, here it's a little bit more obscure. But I just wanna make it very clear that the API is extremely important and it is uh, the primary way that you interact with AWS. Even if you don't think that you're using it, you absolutely are. So the idea here is we have the API and we just mentioned the one use case that you can use uh, to access it is by directly uh, creating HTTP requests. This is not the normal way that you'll interact with it because it's a lot of work to do. So AWS has these other methods that you're going to use to interact with the API. The first and the primary way is through the AWS Management Console. That is that WYSIWYG web interface that you do click ops through in order to interact with it. And this is the primary way people interact with the API. Uh, the other two ways um, besides that one is the SDK. So this is where you use your favorite programming language or the CLI. This is where uh, you use a shell program that you can pass it flags and get information back really quickly. So if you wanna be a good cloud engineer, I mean, you can use the AWS Management Console, but you really should focus on your CLI skills and your SDK skills, because those are going to be what you use uh, day in and day out. And the other part is that the AWS Management Console can sometimes obscure uh, the underlying APIs and you don't really understand what you're interacting with. So the closer you get to the API and you understand it, uh, the more successful you are going to be as a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer. Um, so there you go.